Hello, I'm Rowan Conlon and I'm here today talking about my new novel, The Memory Book. And a lot of The Memory Book is actually based on my own life. There's a lot of me in that and also quite a lot of inspiration from my family, my mum and my daughter. And so today I'm here with my daughter Lily Hi. and we're going to talk about some memories that we have of each other. The most embarrassing memory of my mum, I think, is when we went to America in 2008. We went to New York and we went to an Easter parade festival thing. We were walking along and Mum ran into a guy off Strictly from Dancing and she completely forgot his name and went, Oh! Oh! It's, it's you! And it was very embarrassing. He was just like, What? <laughs> and I was just humiliated. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Matthew Cutler. Sorry. <laughs> Has Lily ever embarrassed me? Well, you know, to be honest, not yet, yeah, not too badly, although she's approaching her teens, so who knows. Um, but I do remember when she was about five, I was talking to her teacher outside the classroom, and I was trying to have a pretty serious conversation with her teacher. And she literally just walked up to me and she went, Hello, Mum, and she grabbed me and she went, Eep! And that was quite embarrassing, yeah. <laughs> my most favourite memory about my mum is when uh, we went on like a little holiday thing to the Isle of Wight with my friend Ruby and her mum. And we were coming back from, well, where did we go? We went somewhere. Somewhere. The beach. Oh, yes, we went somewhere. And we were coming back, it was really dark, and there was like a tour group doing like a haunted house tour, like around where we were staying. And there were all these actors and there was this one woman lying on the step pretending to be dead. We were walking up the steps to the door and she just sort of awoke and freaked mum out. She was really scared. <laughs> and it was very funny. I wasn't really scared. You were. <laughs> you were, you screamed. <laughs> for effect. <laughs> uh, it's really difficult for me to pick out a favourite memory of Lily. There's um, a girl in the book who is based quite heavily on Lily when she was about three and four and the great thing about uh, my children is that they've given me masses and masses of material um, for my books over the years but particularly this book and I think my most treasured memory of Lily is um, one of the school productions that she was in and it was a school play of the Nutcracker and Lily was swan and I have to admit and I've, used, I've written about this a little bit in the book, I was worried because she was doing it on her own and she had to go out onto the stage and dress as a swan and do a dance. And I just couldn't imagine it. And she was very young, when you were about six or something, six or seven. And um, she went onto the stage, dressed beautifully as a swan and just did the most beautiful, beautiful dance. And she was completely poised, totally confident, and just really blew me away. I thought she was amazing. The best thing that my mum owns that I really like has to be her shoes. She's got them everywhere. Full stop. They're, they're like in the cupboard, under the stairs, in another cupboard, by some stairs. They're everywhere, and you sometimes just find them in random places, like under the sofa in the kitchen, or in my own bedroom, which is annoying because they, they take up space. <laughs> they do. Yes. Although, I really like her shoes, because I want, I want to wear them all one day, because half of them, or most of them, she never actually uses. <laughs> They're just slowly <laughs> going away. Well, when your feet are big enough, I might let you wear them. Yes. When we get set English homework, which is usually something like writing a short story, Mum's always there to like give me like helpful ways to describe characters or settings or ending the story or stuff like that. It's very useful. I think it helps me get higher levels, which I really want to do because I like English. It's good. 